Gungadoobie is a four-day coast-to-country themed car rally. It's a mechanism to raise funds on the Fraser Coast and the Sunshine Coast for families with uh, life-limiting medical conditions or have experienced family tragedy. I've been here since the beginning with a group of excellent mates. It's just a great four-day party celebration at the end of the Dunga Derby for the hard-earned fundraisers, which is our teams, and we take them off the beaten track out to the coast, the coast to country theme. We get them on the dirt roads. We get them talking to the local communities out in the country, experiencing some country hospitality, and hopefully bringing some of that back to our communities on the coast. Start your engines. <laughs> overwhelmed with the generosity of people um, when they hear a story of somebody who's having some hard times due to the medical conditions that they're going through and our teams have just blown me away with their total generosity um, of their fundraising as well as what they've done on the rally to um, random auctions they've just put their hands in their pockets and they've just given and I'm totally totally in love with all of these people for doing that. You guys are going to go back in time. Yeah! You are going to have the most excellent adventure through history. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! Whoa, 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 me? Whatever made you think I want some? First day, uh, we got to about the... 100 mile mark or 100 kilometre mark, and the diff started whining. And uh, so we put the call out about uh, lunchtime to see if we could get a diff. We managed to get a diff from uh, Ben Lee Dismantlers. Um, we got into Kalani Friday night. They put it on the back of the uh, tilt truck, so the arse end was hanging off it. Grease monkeys have been looking after the car since we did the first automatic in it. They got in there and um, pulled the diff out and changed it. They made the car sit on the back of the tilt truck, so it was hanging off, so all the wheels were hanging off. They climbed up underneath and unbolted all the diff and to pull the drive shafts out and put everything back back together and um, had it, they had it done in, I don't know, an hour and a half. A boss, is there anything wrong with your car? Absolutely nothing. We've come across the road hog here. They must have hit a dead pig along the way or something, but just for the record, uh, Gary and Mick, in uh, recovery too, had absolutely nothing to do with uh, zip tying uh, the dead pig on the front of the bull bar with four zip ties. Um, no, but uh, anyway. Um... You're completely out of your jurisdiction. <laughs>
it isn't you. And, uh, where are you going? So, uh, I was about to lead her back to the beginning. Like you told me. <laughs> Uh, this is um, this is our third year being involved uh, with the Dunga Derby. Uh, we've had the first two years as um, participants, so we put a car in for two years, and then we got we got that involved, that attracted to it, that uh, Steve decided to uh, actually sponsor the road hog uh, on the Sunshine Coast for the inaugural year. If you come into it for the fun, and then you start to learn that you that. It, it's the giving that's that's a good bit, you know. And the funds we raised, and and, and the um, basically the, the giving out of the out of the group was incredible, um, far far greater than I thought. Because Steve and I had the job of uh, doing the um, auctions on the run for the local recipients, and we were moved at the amount of money that that came forth to help the the, the recipients that needed it on the spot. If you're out there and you're thinking that, you know, life is looking after you quite well, um, there are people out there that aren't. They just, they just haven't got those chances and this is our chance to, to give. And the good thing about doing that is, is we get to feel good about it. You're terrible, Muriel. of that movie is Don't Think, Just Do. And that's exactly how we came to be here. We went to a day, we ended up by the end of the day, signed up. It's been the best experience. So glad that we didn't think about it too much and we went straight ahead and did it. We had a great time, seriously. We went in expecting, uh, we don't know, <laughs> just anything to happen, adventure. We just wanted to do something that was a little bit out of the ordinary, out of what we normally do. And we definitely got it. Well, Rally for a Cause, the fact that it's not just about passing the hat around, it's about going out, finding finding people in communities, placing the value on people and just getting people together, raising awareness. Oh gosh, there were so many moments I was in tears, just the stories of what people are going through. And I guess us being able to, even though we're just breezing through, being able to leave behind something for them to, to continue on their journey because we can't be there 24 seven to help them, but we can give something to help them along. Well, the highlight for me was the fact that I never knew how to pop a bonnet. And now I know how to uh, start my starter motor with a squeegee mop to hit the solenoid. I know what this is. I felt supported. Uh, I had a whole team of guys around me if I need it, didn't need it, and it was great. Travelling in a convoy along some of the dirt roads and then where there was one section that we pulled up and we managed to spot one car uh, fishing, we'll call it fishing, and you ended up uh, sideways into a really deep water patch and yeah, it was great to see that all unfold and they got recovered so we were just glad that it wasn't us. I think the great thing, I'm a new Sunny Coast girl, I've met some great people I didn't know many people, now I know great businesses, uh, great friends and I know that we're going to keep meeting up as we go and it's just been fabulous. about the disruption, folks. 
but I always do the last dance of the season. see my favourite outfit is my safari suit which is uh, I call it the party suit this has been on for the last three days I have changed my underwear uh, it's just for those uh, who were concerned about that uh, but um, yes yeah, so um, look we try and we try and have a heap of fun uh, and while keeping it safe and, uh, and, a, and a lot of laughs on our journey there was a man seen on the side of the road at a detour with a rainbow g-string on not quite sure who that was, um, but I believe he was told to get, if it ever happens again, maybe get a spray tan. This uh, eighth year Dunga Derby for me has been completely different to the previous seven. The previous seven have been on the Fraser Coast and I've been on the Sunshine Coast this year. It's just been awesome for me to get to know another big group of people that have their ticker basically, their heart in the right place to raise money. Big shout out to uh, all those teams. I've loved meeting you guys and look forward to being on the Dunga Derby with you next year. Yeah, that's good. Doing the other one? Doing the other four. Six. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four. Yeah.